As you think about dessert this holiday season, why not choose one that does the work for you? What is it? It's a bunt. A bun? Bunt. There's a hole in this cake. What is a bunt pan? It's a baking pan with a hole in the middle. It's got a nice design around the outside, and the inside hole allows the heat to get to the center of the cake. You don't have to be a fancy baker to bake a fancy cake. Buy a bunt pan, and it's all decorated and ready to go. Susan Brust and David Dahlquist should know. For them, it's a family recipe. They're the children of the Bunt's founders, H. David and Dottie Dahlquist, who developed the first pan here at Nordicware in Minneapolis. They were tasked with recreating bakeware used for the Kugelhof, a traditional European ring-shaped cake with a hole. The Dahlquists reimagined the design and its name. Originally, the word was Bund. In German, Bund refers to a gathering. The D in German is pronounced like a T, and so my father decided to put the T after the D, so he spelled it B-U-N-D. Tea. 75 million bunts have been sold since the bunt birth in 1950. But its circle of fans grew after it was featured in the 1966 Pillsbury Bake Off. Nowadays, the bunt comes in all shapes and sizes, and there's an abundance of uses beyond cake. This is an example of a one-pan meal in a bunt pan. Jenny Dahlquist is part of the third generation baking the bunt. There are carrots and potatoes in the bottom of there, and you literally put the chicken on top of the cone, which funnels the heat up into the chicken. But however you use the bunt, Susan Brust is sure you'll treasure it forever. It's one of those iconic things that is multi-generational. Everybody's got a good story about it. It's something you'll pass on to your children and they'll pass on to their children.